Hi guys, it's openmakingrecipes.com. On my Instagram, one of my followers asked me if I could come up with some quick lunch ideas for people who want to take their lunch to work or uh, on the go. So I came up with this really delicious ratatouille that only takes 15 minutes. It's also vegan, it's nutritious for you, and yeah, I just really love it. I'm actually going to be using frozen vegetables in this ratatouille because they cook quite fast and then you also can save on preparation time. But if you don't like frozen vegetables, you can also use fresh vegetables, but then you'll probably take a bit longer to make this dish. And I personally don't have a problem with using uh, frozen vegetables because sometimes frozen vegetables are actually more nutritious than fresh ones that are in your fridge for like three days or something because frozen vegetables are picked at their ripest state uh, when they're the most nutritious and when kept in the freezer they don't really lose much of their nutritional value so yeah I hope you like this recipe and I'll show you how to make it bye the ingredients you'll need for one portion are five black pitted olives plus some olive juice one small bay leaf 1 quarter teaspoon of dried basil and another quarter teaspoon of dried thyme. You can also use other herbs such as Herbe de Provence or your favourite herbs. You also need half a cup of hot vegetable broth. And to give this ratatouille more flavour, I'm using half a tablespoon of red wine. You can leave this out if you want to, but it will give it more flavour. I'm also using 1 cup of frozen vegetables and I would really recommend getting a mix with broccoli and cauliflower because they cook really quickly and absorb a lot of the sauce and taste really nice. You can of course use other vegetables or fresh vegetables. To make this ratatouille even more flavoursome, I'm also using 1 quarter teaspoon of onion powder and 1 quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm also using half a can of peeled whole tomatoes which have a lot of flavour, and half a can of white beans. You can use any kind of white beans. I'm also using half a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, one teaspoon of agave to sweeten the sauce, but you can use another kind of sweetener, and some salt and pepper for seasoning. In a hot pan on medium-high heat, add in your olive oil and bay leaf. Next, add in your dried herbs, so your dried thyme and basil, as well as your garlic and onion powder. I'm working quite fast here so that my herbs don't burn. Give your pan a little twirl so that everything gets coated properly. Next add in half a can of tomatoes along with the sauce and break up the tomatoes a little. This will make them cook faster and give your ratatouille more flavour. Add in half a tablespoon of red wine along with half a cup of your hot vegetable broth. I'm using hot broth so that the temperature remains hot in the pan. Give everything a mix, then turn your heat up to high and add in your frozen vegetables and give that a mix as well. Next add in half a can of white beans. I like to rinse them with some cold water first and give them a mix too. Then add in around half a tablespoon of olive juice and around 5 big olives. Add in 1 teaspoon of agave or another sweetener that you like and give everything a mix to combine it. Season it with some salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And then turn the heat down to medium to medium high and let it simmer for around 10 minutes until the vegetables are cooked and the liquid is reduced. You may need to stir occasionally so that things don't get burnt or stick to the pan. When you're happy with the consistency, turn the heat off and remove the bay leaf. So there we have it, a delicious ratatouille made in only 15 minutes. It's perfect to take to work as lunch or if you want to have a quick dinner at home, it's also perfect for that as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. For more delicious vegan recipes, subscribe to my channel. Bye!